Welcome to Engineering Concepts. Today we're going to discuss about causes of air compressor overheating. How to prevent an air compressor from overheating. When performance issues arise with an air compressor, the problem can often be traced to heating issues. In fact, air compressor overheating is one of the most common causes of failure, even with compressors that might otherwise last for many additional years. So what causes the compressor to overheat? An overheated air compressor is the result of internal factors, external conditions, or sometimes both. At certain moments in the system cycle, the air becomes hot as a result of the processes involved, though it swiftly cools before it reaches the end point. However, if the air becomes too hot for the compressor to handle, something is indeed wrong with the machine. In a reciprocating air compressor, for example, the air temperature will drop anywhere from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit across the roughly 6 inches of travel between the discharge port and discharge line. If the temperature at the discharge port exceeds 300 degrees Fahrenheit, the refrigerant oil and adjacent mechanisms will suffer. For the health of the air compressor, the temperature at the discharge line should never exceed 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything hotter at the discharge line would put the discharge port dangerously above the 300 degrees Fahrenheit level. If the temperature exceeds 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the discharge port, the heat could lead to imminent system failure. So how do you prevent an air compressor from overheating? Causes of air compressor overheating When an air compressor overheats, the problem is typically related to factors involving irregular suction or discharge pressure. Alternately, the problem could stem from insufficient ventilation, eroded oil, or any given number of issues related to the wear and tear of machine parts. One low suction pressure One of the main problems that can cause an air compressor to overheat is a high compression ratio, which is typically caused by low suction pressure. The issues that contribute to low suction include the following, improperly fitted components, faulty metering devices, loss of refrigerant, obstructed strainers, pressure drop. If the metering devices are faulty, for instance, your ability to monitor the system with accuracy becomes compromised. To maintain a high value of suction pressure, it's crucial to check for signs of these issues on a regular basis. 2. Excess Discharge Pressure. Air compressor overheating issues are often the result of excess discharge pressure, which typically stems from one or more of the following issues, dirty condensing coils, ill-fitted discharge line, blockage of condenser air, inconsistent condenser fan, overcharging refrigerant, undersized condenser. To keep discharge pressure levels under control, you should inspect the condensing parts periodically for signs of any problem issues. Even on larger systems with inbuilt discharge monitoring, issues can go undetected until the problem spreads to other parts of an air compressor. 3. Inadequate cooler space If the air compressor is in a warm area, the machine is liable to have more difficulty adjusting the incoming air to desired levels of coolness. For example, if the machine is in a room with poor ventilation, the heat within that room will affect the internal processes and result in warmer, less efficient air at the endpoints of assorted pneumatic operations. The surrounding heat could also lead to the buildup of internal moisture and condensate, which can negatively impact other vital compressor functions. 4. Inadequate room for compressor to properly vent Another concern closely related to the temperature that surrounds an air compressor is the amount of available ventilation. Can the machine sufficiently ventilate or are the vents blocked or cramped? If the placement of the machine is such that the vents are faced directly against a wall, the air compressor should be turned or possibly moved to another area. By extension, 
If the room where the air compressor is lacks sufficient ventilation, the stuffiness and warmth of the interior air could rob the machine of needed coolness. Five parts are old or clogged. As the components of an air compressor wear down with age, the machine as a whole is forced to work harder to complete its basic functions. For example, if the interior process becomes clogged in vital areas, the air compressor must exert more energy just to get air from the compression chamber and off to the hoses that connect to assorted pneumatic tools. To ensure that the interior components continue to operate efficiently without generating excess heat in the process, have the interior performance evaluated on a periodic basis. 6. Frequency of use Of course, the amount of wear and tear that an air compressor endures is also liable to affect its ability to operate at desired temperatures on an ongoing basis. If the compressor is old and used every day, heating issues could be an inevitable factor in your continued operation of the machine and its various peripheral components. Seven ambient temperature. What are temperatures like in your place of operation? As temperatures increase in various regions, conditions that were ideal for air compressors just 20 years ago could now require some adjustments. If climate trends have rendered summer months far hotter in your local area, the time has likely come to boost the air conditioning in the workspace that houses your compressed air system. 8. Eroded Oil An issue that closely relates to clogged passages within a compressed air system is the problem of diminished oil quality. More specifically, when the oil gets old and hardens, interior parts are forced to move without sufficient lubrication. The surfaces of metal parts grind against one another and components endure strain as the machine is forced to work extra hard just to perform at its prior level. Old, hardened oil is a primary culprit in the cause of system heat. As parts wear down, you will typically need to replace the oil at more frequent intervals. If the air compressor emits a burnt oil smell, that is a telltale sign that the oil has hardened at the expense of the compressor's cooling abilities. Alternately, it could cause the oil to lose its viscosity and lead to further problems of this sort. 9. Thermal Valve A failing thermal valve can lead to heating issues with an air compressor. It is always best to have a replacement thermal valve on hand in case the pre-existing valve on your machine needs to be changed out at any point. This way, you avoid potential downtime that could otherwise result if a thermal valve fails and you have to wait for days or weeks for a new one to arrive. Furthermore, a new valve can be used for comparison's sake to see whether the pre-existing valve is in a sufficient operating condition. If not, you may have found the source of the heating problem. 10. The type of air compressor Certain types of air compressors are suited for more grueling tasks than others. If you are running heavy-duty pneumatic machinery around the clock from one small air compressor, you are liable to run into performance issues that could lead to overheating. Likewise, if the compressor is already more than 20 years old, it could simply be due for a replacement. Consider the size and capacity of your compressed air system in relation to the demands at hand. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and share.